Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be my 18 and 2018 project pan update. Can't wait. Ah, I'm learning that I'm not a great project panner, but uh, yeah, my, my update video is due, so I'm gonna let you guys know how I'm doing on the 18 products that I chose to try to finish off in the year of 2018. I will have my uh, kickoff video and then also my first check-in video listed down below in case you're interested in seeing my progress, but uh, why don't we go ahead and jump into it. Alrighty, so like I said, um, I've just kind of been realizing that I'm not the best at project panning. I really wanted to take this on because I thought it sounded like a fun idea. I had only ever done one other project pan before that and it was a skincare project pan. So I just kind of wanted to challenge myself and see how I did and not so much put a bunch of pressure on me like you have to finish these within the year type of thing, but more as like seeing actually my progress, seeing how fast I actually go through certain items in my makeup collection. So it was it was more like informational for me, so I would know. But I have to say like, it sometimes can get a little bit frustrating though when you're like, I feel like I've made no progress. And especially in the products that I feel like I'm continually using and continually using, I'm like, how? How am I not making any progress on these? But it is what it is. My hair is also like doing its own thing today. Like this piece right here, she's doing her own thing. She's living her best life today. I also did film this look in my very first palette uh, bingo that I filmed that should already be up on my channel. So I'll have it linked down below in case you're interested. But first, I want to talk about these two products because I was pretty on the fence about them during my last check-in, but I'm actually going to kick these both out of my project pan and actually out of my collection. These are both from Tarte. They're the Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation and also the Aqua Concealer. My skin just doesn't like these. And when I wear them continually, like how I was trying to do when I started the project pan, like wear them several days in a row, take them traveling with me, keep wearing them, try to get through them, my skin gets really irritated, really dried out. I do have sensitive skin and dry skin, and just when I'm wearing these, it just is like not doing good things to my face. Uh, I believe they both have a pretty high alcohol content, which I think is why that was happening, but um, yeah, I'm just not gonna force myself to use products that aren't going well for my skin. I actually did film a foundation declutter. I'm not sure if it's up yet, but I do declutter this one, and I say that I'm gonna kick it out of my project pan. I'm pre-filming a bit because I am going to be out of town, so I'm kind of filming in all different orders here, but you will see this one kicked out of my foundation collection. And then, like I said, I'm also going to be removing the Tarte Aqua Concealer. This especially really irritated my eyes. I get really dry under eyes. I get really dry eyelids, too. And when I use this on a very consistent basis, it was horrible. So these are actually going to go. So that's kind of a bummer, but I... I don't know, I probably wouldn't have known that if I didn't put them in the project pan and use them really consistently because unless I'm trying out a foundation like for the first time and I'm testing it for a review, I don't usually wear the same foundation back to back to back to back because I film almost every day because I upload almost every single day. So I'm always like trying to switch up my makeup. So yeah, I guess I can thank the project pan for that. <laughs> so next up, I put a primer in here. This is from number seven. It's the Airbrush Away Primer. So I feel like I've been doing pretty well. Um, that first line is where I started the project pan and then there's a second line just like just underneath it. But if you can tell, I mean, it's kind of, it's harder for me to tell with a squeeze tube like this, but I'm pretty sure that's where I'm at. And I can just tell how much lighter the bottle feels. Um, I, t I really like this primer, it's one of my favorites. I take this one traveling with me a lot. I feel like it's good to use under really any foundation. It's not a super like luminous primer, it's not a mattifying primer. It's just a nice like kind of moisturizing primer and I really like it. So I feel like I'm doing, I feel like I'm making pretty good progress on that one. But this next one, <sighs> this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So this is what she looks like, and I'll try to put in some photos here of how I start it, and then also the check-in as well, and I feel like nothing is happening. And I wear this one so much, like to the point where I'm like, I wanna wear my other bronzers. <laughs> like, I have other bronzers in my collection, I wanna wear other ones, but I'm like, how is still nothing happening? I know a lot of people are saying, because a lot of people do try to pan this one, they're saying that once you get down there and once it like, like a lot of people say it breaks, and then like once from there it goes really quickly, but it's just like getting there takes a really long time, but I'm honestly curious if I will hit pan on this in 2018. 
and I try I try to use it but also I was taking it like traveling with me I go out of town for like a night here or there quite a bit um, and then we've done other trips too so I've been trying to take it with me but this broke like the the packaging on it broke so now I don't want to take it because I'm afraid it's going to shatter in my bag so that's kind of a bummer I put in two of these ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows and again I've just been doing a really bad job at it. I feel like I've been getting so many eyeshadow palettes that I've been trying to test out to review and I really try to like wear the eyeshadow palettes a lot and put every shade on my eye so it's just it's just challenging to mix it up sometimes and these don't inspire me as much as they once did so I used to not even enjoy the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I felt like I should enjoy them because everybody else did. So I bought quite a few. And honestly, I know that they're less expensive. These are $5, but I feel like you don't get a ton of product in them. Um, it's 0 0.07 ounces of product. I feel like you're not getting a, a ton of product in here. And I've actually hit pan on other ones very quickly so I kind of thought since I did really like these at one point and I wore them a lot together I was like put them in the project pan you can totally hit pan on these like I almost felt like I was being sneaky like yeah girl are you gonna do it nothing nothing yet so here's a close-up of what of what they each look like so truth here it's just a really pretty kind of like a beige color and it has a little bit of sheen to it as well and then lala is a really beautiful rose gold uh, i really like lala a lot i usually just put this one into the crease even though it has a bit of sheen in it oh geez that scared me okay goodness I don't know what I thought that was, but man, I've been reading too many scary books lately, apparently. Woo! Um, so that fell out, but um, there we go. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Um, so I usually just put Lala like into the crease and such, and then I, or Truth into the crease, and then Lala all over the lid. And I think it makes for a really pretty look, but again, I, I keep throwing these in my travel bags, like, oh, if we're not really doing anything, I'll just like put some of these on, and I'm doing it. Like, I've worn these several times, but. I feel like I'm just like not getting anywhere with them. Ugh. I also wanted to put a mascara into my project pan to, again, this was like one of those that I'm like, I want to see how long it takes me to actually use a full size mascara. I didn't open it until, like it hasn't been opened since like before January and I didn't open it at January. I want to say I opened it during the first update maybe somewhere around there I want to say so it hasn't been open like super super long um, but this is a great mascara one of my favorites I'm actually going out of town this weekend so I might take this one with me but all of a sudden I've been trying a lot of new mascaras as well I have the Lancome Monsieur Big On which is new to me some Flower Beauty mascaras which are new to me so this one has kind of like been getting pushed back but I'm gonna bring it out I'm gonna bring it out because I know I have to I, I don't want to like rush it just because of the project pan because I'm genuinely curious like how long does it take me to buy a full-size mascara and based on my findings should I only purchase the mini mascaras you know like is it actually worth it for me to purchase a full-size mascara especially a high-end full-size mascara if it takes me this many months to get through it or should I just like keep filling my collection with minis mm -hmm. see what I'm doing here with this project pan I'm trying I'm trying to learn about myself guys uh, an item that I had in here that I did finish off by the time by my last update video was the Thrive Cosmetics brow pencil so that one is done and then I also have in here a blush from Tarte this is one of their Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes and this is in party this is just a mini because I knew there was no way I would get through a full size of these so this is a mini and this is what it looks like now pretty much zero change even though I feel like I use this a lot. I took it with me on my Oklahoma City vacation trip. Not vacation. I, I always call it vacation. It was a business trip. Get it together. I've taken on other trips out of town with me a lot. I use it, but I'm like, nothing, nothing, nothing's happening. I know people say these are really hard to pan too, so that's what that one looks like. Oh, and then yes, of course, the next one. Why don't we come on down? Mary Luminizer. Like, it's, it just, I'm not... It's just, I'm not going to make any progress on this one. And I wear her, and I wear her so much, but you need such a small amount of Mary Luminizer from the Balm as a highlight. You really need such a small amount, and you get such a beautiful blinding highlight. I mean, it's such a gorgeous highlight, but, like, 
I feel like for the project pan, nothing's really gonna happen. And I, I feel like I'm almost trying to do that thing where I cheat, where I just keep putting my brush right in the same spot. I'm like, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a hole there. I'm gonna hit pan right there. Like I'm not even like dusting around the whole thing. I'm like, no, right there, right there, right there. And then nothing happens. I'm like, it's gonna be a while for you, Mary Lou. A couple lipsticks that I put in the project pan. One is from MAC. It's one of my favorite nudes right now in age, sex, location. So when I did my last check-in video, I actually could not find this guy. So I couldn't include it and I was so upset because it's one of my favorite nudes and I was like, how in the world did I misplace it? And I found it. It was in the back of one of my lipstick drawers. Like I have an acrylic drawer of MAC lipsticks and it was all the way in the back. And usually age, like, age sex location I put in the front because I reach for it so much. So it was there the entire time. I was just passing over it because I was like, why would age sex location be all the way in the back? Obviously it's not back there. So that it was just me. Like I just was for sure it wasn't there. It was. But uh, this is what my age sex location looks like. I'll try to be having some photos in here. Um, so again, I mean, I lost it for a little bit, so I didn't do as great, but it's still one of my favorite nude lipsticks. I, I really enjoyed this one. I think it'd be so satisfying to go through a lipstick. Really any, I very rarely go through lipsticks. I think it could be super satisfying, so we're trying, we're trying. A liquid lipstick that I put in here is from Kat Von D. This is in Ludwig. Uh, again, these are kind of hard to, to test, but I feel like if you can see like on the sides there, you can kind of see where there's like less product and whatnot. And I can tell when I wear it, like I'm having to like really come back in a couple times. This is just a mini as well. But again, I very rarely am going through a liquid lipstick. So I wanted to just put a mini in here. I typically have this one in my clutch with me. So I have worn it a lot. I feel like I haven't reached for it lately too much. Um, and it was in my drawer. So I took it out of my clutch at some point. But I feel like I'm making like decent, decent progress on that one. And then another lipstick I put in here is from Maybelline. This one is in Truffle Tees. This one I feel like I'm doing pretty darn good on. So that is what it looks like right now. This is kind of one of my go-to nudes. Um, it's just a really light brown nude on the lips. It's so easy to apply. It's so easy to reapply. Um, and it's just one of my favorite lipsticks and also lip colors. So I'm actually doing pretty decent on that one. The lip product I have in here is from Glossier. This is the coconutbalm.com. Uh, again, I was just kind of curious to see how fast I would go through a product like this since I don't use lip balms a ton. So that is what it looks like right now. It has some teeth marks on it because Aries was trying to help me. Uh, this is a great product though. I really do recommend this one I want to see how fast it does take me to go through it because there was one point where I almost repurchased another guy and I was like why would you buy it if you already have this in here and I've been using it consistently now for half a year like why would I go and buy a backup so I want to see how long it takes me to get through it but I really do recommend this one if you're looking for a good lip balm uh, the one from Glossier is really good Oh, so I also had in here, I have another one that I finished, yay! So the MAC Fix Plus, I had just one of the originals in my project pan. I can insert a couple of photos of what they would have looked like before. If I, I don't know if I would have taken photos of it though because I did the lines on it, but I finished it up and I actually put it in my last beauty empties and right after I filmed the beauty empties, I just threw all the empties away and I threw the fix plus away and then it was like a few days later I was thinking to myself and I was like ooh that was in your project pan but I mean it's it's empty it's gone you can't there's nothing left I mean if you want to watch my beauty empties to like make sure I'm not lying you totally can but I finished it so hey pretty good I do that thing like I love fix plus it's my probably my favorite uh, setting spray but I do this thing that when I start to get low on a product that I really like I stop using it Cause I'm like, oh no, I'm not, I'm not running out of that. That's my favorite. Because there's gonna be a point where I really want to use that Fix Plus, and it's gonna be gone. And the time before, when I used it all the way up, I didn't really need to use the Fix Plus. I could have used something else, but I used something else, and then I used it all up. Now I don't have it. This is the life I lead. All right, I just have a couple more products to go. This next one is a powder. It's from Maybelline. It's the Better Skin Skin 
skin transforming powder there we go so this is what the compact looks like it has a nice mirror it has a nice little sponge applicator that i use a lot and then you have your face powder in there hello samantha then you have your face powder in there i feel like i'm doing nothing on this and this is always in my purse it's always in my clutch with me it's just kind of always been my go-to powder when we're out and about and i just need to powder my face at the end of the night it was really interesting i was gone all day last weekend saturday from the time i'm filming this i was gone all day we did one of those oh it starts with a p a pinewood derby where you make like a little race car and you race it and then i had a bachelorette party to go to i i literally left my house at noon and i wasn't home till after midnight and i kept having to powder throughout the day i'm usually dry but in the summer months when it gets a little warmer i'm more like kind of almost like a combination like i still have some dry spots but then i also get more like glowy <laughs> in certain spots and i kept powdering and i this was the powder in my bag i kept using it and I've had it for a while and just nothing, it just, nope, it wants to stick around forever, which is great. I mean, sometimes with Project Pans, like, I don't know why I get so upset that I can't go through things because it's like, well, you don't want to buy something and then just, you immediately use it all up, but I'm still like, dang. That's hard to get through, man. And then I have two skincare products to end it. So first up, I have this one from Pixi. This is the Peel and Polish, a resurfacing concentrate. I really do like this guy. I wanted to see how long it would take me to get through it um, because it is one of my favorite kind of like at-home peels. But again, like how long, like do I, how often do I need to purchase it? How long does it take me to actually get through a full size of this? And if you can see where I started and then where my first check-in was, and I feel like I've made pretty good progress. I'm pretty good at knowing what I enjoy in my skincare routine you know every once in a while I'm trying a new product and I'm testing something out but I have a couple of those items that always make it in there and this guy I use weekly um, at least once a week I will always use this I do have sensitive skin so I can't really use it any more than that because it's a very intense like exfoliator for the skin um, but I like it and I feel like I feel like I'm making pretty decent progress on that one and then the other one that I put in here is from Dermalogica and this is the anti Accident Hydra Mist. So it's just a nice hydrating mist for your skin. Um, so let me see. Oh, do I not have my check-in? Oh shoot. Um, so this is where I started. Did it wipe off somewhere? Huh, because I just made that line there. Well, shoot, I'm not really sure then, but that's where I started or my progress, and then that is where I am now. Huh, that's weird. I wonder how I didn't notice that in my last video, but um, making decent progress. I mean, I'm about halfway through my bottle. I actually do have another one of these. So, you know, it's kind of like, well, if I use it up, I do already have another one on reserve. It was sent to me from Dermalogica. I didn't purchase it myself, but I wanted to keep it because I wanted to use it because I do like having this in my skincare. I like it, especially when I get out of the shower. It sounds weird, but I usually use like a mask or, um, like some sort of like scrub in the shower. I have one in there from Ula Hendrickson. And when I get out of the shower, I feel like my skin is just kind of like dry are tight um, which is weird so, you know coming from the shower um, so I usually spray this especially after I get out of the shower and I just feel like it helps helps hydrate me a little bit so yeah I don't feel like I'm doing too bad on that one um, but after that that is all of my progress on the 18 products that are in my project pan okay so that is everything for my 18 and 2018 project pan update I'm not doing the best I'm not gonna lie I started out kind of a little bit more frustrated but you know I finished up a product I kicked two out so there's that and I feel like kind of how I ended it I was like I am doing a little bit better than maybe I thought so I'm um, not too bad I'll list all my products down below in case you're interested and then like I said I'll have my two other project pan videos in case you want to catch up on those if you didn't see them but uh, are you guys doing a project pan at all I would love to know whether you're a youtuber or if you just watch and you like to get involved with project pans do let me know but other than that that's going to do it for today's video if you guys did enjoy it I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video